Hey, I'm Kathy Callahan, and you know me as the busy mom who's been building her business from her closet, teaching you how to master virtual parties so that you can get more sales, bookings, leads, and recruits, and you can work from absolutely anywhere. I'm really grateful for Kathy giving examples of what to post in the welcome post or what types of things uh, to be posting a couple days uh, before the event. Anyway, Kathy, if you have more um, helpful hints or great posts that have gotten great responses, I would love to see more. Kathy, the one thing that I did take away from like the verbiage that you shared that was super helpful was just help me get the ball rolling. Like, I don't care if anybody lies. Just help me get the ball rolling. So when I want to help somebody to be able to do it, I give them just three simple steps. And that was what Kathy was doing for me today. She was giving me my first three steps. So I'm thinking, actually, I can do this after all. And I think the person that I battle with most in any new venture is myself. Second takeaway is that it actually takes a genius to make something that is complex look so simple. I love watching Kathy and the way that she's teaching us all of these things. Because what she's doing is actually quite, quite complex. complex. But, but it comes back down to really, it's simple when you just get started because she's guiding us through step by step. I remind all right, you guys, are you ready to be guided step by step through virtual parties? If you are here and you have not said, hey, please say, hey, and why is my camera so crooked? Is that going to make you seasick? What in the world is going on? I must have a crooked bench. You guys, tonight we're going to be covering um, the basics of my virtual party training. So if you've ever taken it before, this might be a review for you. For you. If you have taken it before, you are going to be gaining some new content. So are you ready? We have this as our first webinar, which means it's also linking through YouTube. You can still go ahead and share this with your friends. It's streaming over to my YouTube channel. If they get officially registered, they'll get the email reminders and the special that will be at the end. So we're going to dive in. This is going to kind of flow pretty quickly. Um, my goal is to keep this one hour. It's typically a five-day challenge that I've done now for almost three years. We squished it down to a three-day challenge, and I'm always like, gosh, can I get through all of this? So if you have not yet said hi, please do this. Thank you so much, Tammy. I appreciate that. Let me know where you guys are tuning in from. Let me know how you found this. Are you in my business group already? Are you in one of my classes, one of my programs? Um, did someone invite you here? Let us know how you found us. Okay. So I'm going to be slide sharing and you'll have visuals at the end. I have an invite for those of you who've never um, taken our full party course. You don't have access to it yet, or you want some support in our new virtual party coaching community. We'll open that up. I have a special for those of you watching this webinar. And I also have an invite for those of you who just really need more help. And you're like, I need all the things. Tell me all the things. Okay. So we'll be covering that as well. So let's go ahead and dive in. Oops, hold on. Hang on. It's going to do my video again. If we have never met before, I'm going to share a quick little bit about my story. Um, so that you know who I am. I am literally the busy, crazy mom building her business out of her closet. And I'll give you a tour pretty soon here of my closet where I am literally hiding from children right now. Can you relate to that? Okay. So on the left side of your screen, I just shared some photos of some of my past live parties. I've actually been partying online since January, 2019. I am a network marketer. I have been a network marketer since 2006. Prior to that, I was a school teacher. I taught kindergarten for six years, and that's when I was then invited in to a um, in-home party. So do those of you listening have any in-home experience? This is my oldest um, son. His name is Evan. He was 17 months old when I first found out about network marketing, and I was kind of at that crossroads of I didn't love teaching anymore. So tell me in the comments, what do you do for a living? Can you relate to this? I want you guys to, to let me know also, are you network marketers? Um, a lot of network marketers use party-based systems, whether you have host rewards, 
with your company or not. But we also have a lot of coaches and people who sell products outside of a typical party uh, company using this strategy. In fact, it's a very similar strategy I'm using with you guys tonight. So think about everything I've done with you so far. Watch what I do because I really like to model for you what I'm going to be asking you to do. Okay. So Sarah said she's a stay at home mom and network marketer. Shout out to Sarah. She is in our impact makers program. Carla is a registered nurse and a social retail marketer. Linda is here. She's in Kentucky and she is also one of our impact makers. Okay. Awesome. Shay's a coach and learning to be better on video. Fantastic. So um, tell me, have you guys ever been through a training with me before? If, if so, was it this one or a lot of people did meet me through this training. So let me know on that. Um, so a little bit about my journey. Um, live video, when I was a new network marketer, I did all home parties. Okay. I built to the top 2% of my company. I was able to replace my teaching income within six months without social media. All right. Without social media. And a lot of what I teach is foundational business principles that people must know. And it's especially important for those of you who've never had experience with in-person business, belly to belly, right? Conversations and really getting to know people before you go present your offer. Um, a lot of us don't understand that if we're just in social marketing, we think we just do this whole attraction marketing thing. We think we just post a bunch of things and do reels and stories. And basically we stay busy all freaking day, staying busy. And a lot of us don't make a dollar. Is this you? Okay. I don't want that to be you. I want the I want the story to change. Um, so I decided back in, in January 2019, I had successfully built my network marketing company. Um, and in 2019, I was actually coming back after having left for almost seven years. The reason I left was um, my mother got sick in, on Valentine's Day 2012, died on Thanksgiving Day 2012. And I was left with an option to take over the family business and kind of repair it. It had gone from mass profit to mass debt over her illness. And I kind of decided to take that on. I said, I will put my blinders on for three to five years and rebuild her business. Um, I did that. It, I was able to, to stay the journey, learn so much. It was an, a senior home care agency, learned so much more about business than I had learned um, through my network marketing journey. Now through my, um, you know, belly to belly brick and mortar business. And it was like, gosh, business is business, right? And so I actually then had two more babies. I had this little guy, Dylan, and and Christian. And I was like, you know what? I think I want to come back to network marketing. Um, I also have my bonus son, Colin. He's going to college this fall. He's 18. So I have an 18 year old bonus son, a 17 year old biological son, a six year old biological son, and a five year old biological son, all the boys. And I am a single mom. And um, that is part of my journey right now. So I have um, always been a majority of um, my family's in income, if not, you know, all of it. So um, I understand business. I understand the importance of keeping things fun, simple and effective, but also profitable. So if that is what you need, drop in the comments below. Heck yeah. I'm also going to be talking to you not just about basic um, tr strategy for live video and events, but also how to partner automation. And I'm going to be sharing some insider secrets about something new that we um, basically are like one of the very few people that have access to. So through my network marketing, journey, I was able to earn the trips, get the car, replace my income, have the jewelry, have all the things that a lot of people think that that they're striving for. But quite honestly, what I really wanted was just time, freedom, and choice. I wanted the ability to live life on my terms. I wanted the ability to, to be um, a present room parent if I wanted to be, or to be able to afford to send my kids to the sitter or to go on those trips and to have a positive community of people surrounding me and lifting me up. And that's what network marketing did for me. Um, so now I also still fill my little teaching, um, I don't know, need. I have a summer camp. I've done that since 2013, right out, right inside of my home. I did it all day today. I only do it one day a week. Um, but through all these things, I was like, you know what, when I'm building a business with network marketing coming back, how can I do this? Because now I'm a mom of four boys. Um, I don't want to do home parties. This was now January, 2019. And I just did not want to do home parties. It's not that they did not work. 
clearly they worked. This is me back when I was doing home parties, right? My friend Angie and my son Evan, we got to earn a trip to Atlantis, Bahamas. I knew that they worked. I just didn't want to do them. My life did not allow for it. So what I'm going to teach you tonight is the key strategy that I have used with a network of nada, okay? No social media influence. I'm going back 2019. Okay. So if you feel like, gosh, I don't have an influence. How do I do this online? That was me. I decided to sit here in my closet and I did video after video and I did two to three presentations via live video in Facebook groups, in Facebook events. We did some via Zoom parties and I built my business twice as quickly as I did the first time. By the way, when I came back in 2019, I had to start completely over. Over the time I had left, I had lost almost all of everything. I had some customers, but I didn't build the best way. I kind of had a team that I I, am, I don't know if the right words enabled, but basically they were really connected to me. So when I left, they kind of left. Has that ever happened to you? So I know what it's like to stop and start over. I also know what it's like to have a lot of life happen along the way. And this simple strategy has what has been allowing me to have a schedule, a purposeful business that I prioritize, that I don't just say, if I get time, I will. And to have a simple strategy that I really have fun with. So let's dive in, you guys. This That's a little bit about who I am. I live in Southern Illinois. I'm a Midwest mom. And literally, about an hour ago, I was probably like a lot of you can relate. I was like, okay, um, kids are driving me crazy. Let's go to the, get some dinner, go to the ice cream shop. I was in a tank top ponytail, had kids all day long. And I was like, all right, kids, good night. I love you. Go to bed. I'm going to go to work. And this is my fun. I love being here. We're going to make this kind of like a party. So if you have not yet commented, please comment and continue to engage. That's very important to me that I get your feedback. And also that's how you have chances to win. So if you've never been to a party with me before, you get chances to win when you comment. So go ahead and let me know tonight what do you guys hope mostly to gain. Okay, so let's start with why you don't have any activity on your calendar and how to actually start filling your calendar with some events. Okay, now if you're super, super brand new, you have no concept of what a party online is or what a live virtual event is. Maybe you call it a challenge, which I do in my coaching business. Maybe you call it a workshop or a master class. It doesn't matter. It's all the same strategy that I'm teaching you guys tonight. And it's a very effective sales strategy because it does all three parts of the basic sales funnel. It helps you fill your funnel with leads through not only the people you know, but by the people coming, inviting more people, okay? In a typical party business, we call them hostesses. In a non-party-based business, like this event tonight, I just say, hey, invite some friends, right? We can call them referrals, which are the best way to actually build your sales funnel. The middle of the sales funnel is how to present and get into conversations. And that's what we'll cover in the next few slides after this. How do we get to know people, know what their problems are, to figure out, are we a solution? Can our products help them with a problem they have? And the last part of the funnel is how to close a sale. Do you want more sales? If so, we're going to cover all three parts of this in this one single sales strategy. So if you don't have a full calendar, I want you guys to ask yourself, first of all, are you using the LMA framework? And type in the comments below, L-L-M-A. LMA stands for Launch Master ad. Now, one of the biggest things I've seen, um, I, I fell into network marketing or I fell into coaching network marketers through this training. Actually, I had people reaching out and saying, Hey, how are you doing those parties online? Especially around March, 2020, people started to be like, how are you doing that? Right? What was happening at that time in the world? All of a sudden the world shut down, people are forced online and they're like, how are you doing that? I'm like, oh, I'll show you. And I put together a class. And my first class was January or uh, July 27th, 2020. What I had already been doing for a year and a half was one single sales strategy, virtual parties, party after party after party after party. And when people didn't show up, I showed up. And when the party sucked, 
I kept doing them. And when my phone fell down off the holder I didn't even know I should have, I picked it back up. And when the internet sucked, I got back on. One party I had to get on three different times because the internet in my small town kept cutting out. When my baby was a baby and he would sneak in to party after party and I would be like, oh my gosh, there's Christian again who's supposed to be in bed. I just made it part of the show. I decided I was just going to be authentically me, share the products and the company that I love, share the service I have to offer and keep doing it because that was the only way to get better. Thankfully, I'm going to expedite your journey. I'm going to take what took me three years to figure out and give you that a little bit quicker. You always want to align yourself with someone who's been down the journey that you're trying to go down and they can expedite the journey for you. Would that be helpful? So launch master ad simply means when you learn a new concept and I credit my coach, Julie, for this, when you learn a new concept and you launch this new concept, whether it's virtual events, attraction marketing, Facebook ads, whatever your strategy, chosen strategy is, you have to first master it. That means you have to do it enough to really start getting some results, okay? You have to track your activity because if you base your business on your feelings, it feels like you're doing a lot, but if you track, you can actually prove to yourself, when did I actually work? What did I actually do? So I started by filling my calendar with two live events consistently a week. I got smarter, but in the beginning, I did two Facebook groups, separate groups, twice a week, week after week after week after week. And then I started getting tired. I'm like, I wonder if I could put a couple of these events together. And I started learning how to leverage some tools so that I could go live in one place and show up in multiple places at one time. And then I started thinking, could I duplicate this down with my team? And so through the journey, I've simplified the process. In fact, now I'm doing a live event for my network marketing company or once every two weeks. So twice a month, twice a month, we're doing a shared live event. Okay. We'll be teaching this in our uh, party community, a shared live event that we all can leverage. Okay. We come up with a fun theme. We all invite people. And in my coaching business, I do a live challenge every six to eight weeks. Now tonight's live event is just a one night event. So I'm kind of putting some of these one night events in there. Right. And I do a big five day challenge or three day challenge every six to eight weeks. Very similar strategy, but you've got to be able to look at your calendar and say, gosh, when am I going to work? What kind of results came out of that? What did I do well? What do I need to do differently? What worked? What didn't work? And as Jim Rohn says, if you're one of my students, can you go ahead and finish my line? As Jim Rohn says, do things enough, a ratio will appear. That's called the law of averages. So when you're mastering something, ask yourself, have you truly done any single thing that you started enough to really say it works or it doesn't work? For most people that I work with, they simply can say, didn't do it long enough, quit before I got started, got too many no's and shut down, had somebody say boo and I got scared. This is your business. It is non-negotiable, just like raising your child. I have a child, I have four of them, four of them, but I have one that's tough, man, tough. And God doesn't give us what we can't handle, but I'm still wondering, I'm like, you sure I can handle this? Are you sure? But I have to wake up every single day and feed him. I have to wake up every single day and care for him. And I don't not do those things. Are you feeding your business? Are you taking care of your business? Taking care of business. So make sure you're mastering the concepts that you're learning. Align yourself with the people who can help you, like me and my team, if you need that support, before you go add a new strategy. The biggest thing you guys can do to benefit your business is put your blinders on. If you want to do parties, 90 days of parties. If that's one or two a week, focus, stay focused, rinse, repeat rinse, repeat. Because the first 30 days of my business when I came back really sucked. And I already knew the company and I already knew the products and I already knew how to do parties, but I was kind of figuring out a new strategy. I was figuring out how to do it online. And I was like, gosh, I did all this consistent work and no results. I think I'm going to quit. No, I ain't. 
I'm going to figure out what am I doing wrong? What can I tweak? Then I started adding on things like social marketing, attraction marketing, learning how to narrow a niche, learning how to build an audience, but that can take time. So how can virtual parties benefit your business? You guys, you truly can take over your calendar. When do you want to work? When do you want to work? Not when will people show up? When are you going to show up? Every single Monday at 10 a.m. Central, I show up live in my free business group. Every single Tuesday at 12 p.m. Central, I I show up in my membership club. Every single Tuesday at 1 o'clock, I show up with my impact makers for coaching. And every single Tuesday night at 8.30, I show up for my network marketing team. One week is a team um, business call training, Zoom. The next Tuesday is a live event that we all use. We teach, we train, we rinse, we repeat. So what is your mindset around parties? If you're here, I assume you're open to the concept, but is your mindset that parties don't work, that everybody's over parties, that nobody's interested, that people don't want what I have, or is your mindset is like, wow, parties can be a really fun, simple, and effective way to get people in front of what I have to offer. I can make it something very different. I can be that positive distraction for people in a very distracted world. You guys, tonight is literally, this gives me so much energy. Thank you for being here. I got to put a dress on. I got to curl my hair. I think I remembered my earrings. Didn't get to do my fingernails, but hey, I I did paint some uh, kids' nails at, at summer camp today. But you guys, this literally, I feel like it's joy delivered when I get to do live events with people. And the more we did them and we had customers come in and say, or prospects come in and say, You literally, I know you don't understand why I keep coming to your parties. You are my positive distraction. Those words literally came from one of my customers' uh, mouths. So be authentically you. I think it's very important as we dive into how to do this. You understand the mindset around it. You have um, the right goals in mind that it's not just this quick and fast answer. If you have found that, you are not here. Okay, if you found the quick, easy button, You're not here because it don't freaking exist. So we're all here. So we're trying to find how we can work smarter, not harder, but we appreciate that it is a journey, that we build a lifestyle business, but it's a business and businesses take time to build. Most businesses take three to five years is what they say to build. And that was true in my home care agency. In my network marketing business, the first time it took me four years to get to that car level. Some people did that in four months. Do you think I felt like a loser? Yeah, kind of. But then I was like, dude, my journey. Be authentically you. Are you high energy? Are you serious? Are you super science with your products? I'm very lifestyle driven. So I tell the story. I'm very honest and, and vulnerable to the extent that I I can be on social media. Um, I'm very honest about the struggles in my life, but also I don't pity party myself. I show solutions. I give people hope. Be authentically you. You have to help people get to know you, like you, and trust you. That's the KLT factor. So type in the comments below KLT. If you are wondering why someone in the same company as you or why another coach has a multi-million dollar business and you can't even make a dollar, ask yourself, are you investing in other people before you're asking them to invest in you? Do people feel like they know you? Let me ask you guys a question. Do you feel like, and if, you, if you've never been here before, maybe you don't, do you feel like you have a little bit of, of a concept, a little bit at least, of who I am on this video compared to the email that you registered with? Do you have a little bit more like feel like, okay, get this chick a little bit. Let me show you my closet. Let me give you some insight. Just a normal girl, but I'm literally working out of my closet. I bought this fancy whiteboard. Makes me feel fancy. I got that from Dollar General because it works, right? I figured out a light stand because I was like, oh, that would actually make my work more effective. This is my closet. I make do with what I have. It is not perfect, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to give up some of my space. I'm going to give up some of my space and I'm going to make a working environment, even if I don't have a fancy office, because one day I will. And I want you guys to stop and think about, are you stuck in comparison or are you accepting your journey where you're at, letting people get to know you, letting them decide if they like you. If they don't like you, ain't no big deal. Those are not your people and building trust. Okay. Live video for me has been the key strategy and don't get me wrong. My heart is still racing right now. I have a lot of goosebumps on my right leg, a little bit on my left. And the very, very first time I did live video, I was 
flipping terrified. It was mid-January and I'm like, I think I'm going to do live video 2019. And I wrote out every single thing I was going to say. I was going to go live on my personal page and I was going to tell people that I was relaunching my network marketing business. And I was really scared. And I wrote it all. I sat on the toilet in my uh, laundry room bathroom and I wrote all these notes and I was wearing a green hoodie. I still remember this. I sat in a blue rocking chair that I bought for nursing my baby. And I decided to hit the live button. And I was like, okay, dear Lord, if you're coming back, could you come back right now? Or, you know, if somebody wants to give me an emergency phone call, now would be a good time. Or if one of my kids gets sick, I'd probably be okay with that right now because that would give me a reason to get off the live video. None of those things happened. None of those things happened until I was done with my 17 minute live video and I was shaking my now six year old. So I don't know, he's three at the time comes in. He's like, mommy, I don't feel well. And I was like, okay, honey, I walked him through the kitchen and he just barfed all over. I'm like, dude, me too. Right. But it does get easier. I have found that live video, if you're building on social, is a great way for people to kind of feel like they get to know you more than just a post. That's why I will not teach you in my party system to just do posts. In fact, I do very few of the posts. I mostly just focus on the live. Here's a quick testimonial from Maggie Schuyler. Maggie actually was a rep with an athleisure company um, and a jewelry brand. She came into our virtual party community. Um, she then upgraded to our full uh, program, and she from this training said she had so many interactions and laughing points that people could not help but stay on her live video. It was amazing. She had 10 people on her live and 44 comments, way better than her usual. Let me tell you real quick before we go past this testimonial that Maggie Schuyler is now the CEO and president of a chamber of commerce and her year with our program had expired and it was time for us to reach out to see if she wanted to renew. And honestly, I didn't know that she wanted to renew because I knew she wasn't as active in the program as she had been at one point. And she said, yes, here's why I want to renew every single thing you've taught I've actually used to build our Chamber of Commerce membership. All the onboarding that we taught, all the customer relationships, I was like blown away because once again, business is business. So what you guys are going to learn, you're going to be able to apply in lots of ways. So how are you going to get these parties booked? First of all, rule number one, parties are your office. What does that mean? When I do a party, it's me going to work. That means I don't negotiate it away, right? If I decide not to do a party, I basically decided I'm not showing up for work today. Are you guys okay with not showing up for work today? Is your boss okay if you don't show up for work today? Whether it's parties, challenges, workshops, classes, or doing your attraction marketing, your daily reach outs, whatever tasks you have to do, are you treating your business like a business? Drink the truth serum like we did in leadership retreat. Ask yourself, are you really expecting to get results, but you don't want to put in the work? Is that realistic? Would you sponsor yourself if you're a network marketer or would you hire yourself if you're a coach? If I wouldn't hire myself, how can I expect someone to work for me and do as good of a job or better? If I wouldn't sponsor myself, how could I ever expect to have a team of reps that are excited and that keep going even when life happens? And yes, we set it down sometimes. I've been divorced. I've lost a parent. I've been through a really rough relationship. Yes, we take time for ourselves where needed. That's the benefit. We're not fired, but we don't work sometimes. We can work part-time. We can work full-time just not sometimes. So have a simple system you're confident in and know what you're offering. And that's what I do with this system here. Lead with what is in it for them. Type in the comments below, W-I-I-F, wait, F-T, what's in it for them? I was doing a coaching call with some of my team last night and we were just going through some scripts and verbiage that they were inviting people to join their business and they were kind of disappointed that people weren't saying yes. And, and we just said, like, are we even leading with what people need? Do we even know if they have a need? Do they have an interest? Are we leading with what we can offer, not what we need from them? What we can give, not what we can get. And this is what will resonate all throughout this training, okay, is we're going to lead with what's in it for others. Testimonial from. Um, 
uh, Manda Carr, sorry. Manda said, uh, the Lord truly put you before me one day. He knew what I needed, a system. I wasn't even searching and your YouTube video popped up to start this training right here. Virtual party challenge is what it used to be called. Thanks for all you're doing to help so many of us. And Manda, you are welcome. Okay. So you guys, if you're thinking about, okay, great. I'll do a party. I'll do a challenge. I'll do a workshop. How do I start? <laughs> How do I start? Put a date on your calendar. Go put a date on your calendar. I don't care when it is. If it's next Tuesday, if it's tomorrow night, I booked this with you guys on Sunday. I was driving home after a, a week at the beach that did not go as planned. Welcome to my life. And I ended up in my dad's car with three kids instead of my car because whatever, long story. And it was pretty stressful. And I was like, you know what? There's something I've been wanting to do. I'm going to do it right now. And I booked this tonight event on Sunday. I used automation. I used the system I used. I put everything together. We got the word out and now y'all are here. So put a date on your calendar. Who can you guys invite? Okay. You're like, okay, I'm going to do an event. I'm going to do a party and we'll talk about themes and all the good things, but I'm going to go ahead and do it next Tuesday. Well, who's coming? Start with your warm market. Start with people that you already have in your customer base. Start with people that are already in a free group. If you're a business, a business coach, like I am start with people you already know, and you can invite them and say, Hey, I'm trying something new. I'm doing a virtual event over on Facebook, or I'm doing it on texting party, or I'm doing it in messenger. I don't care where you do it. I'm doing a messenger party currently right now. Okay. I've done texting parties, zoom parties, YouTube, all the things I'm trying something new. And I would love for you just to check it out. That would be a great group of people to invite. Most of us become our own hostess. We invite people. We start with the people we already know. And we just ask them, Hey, come check it out. Kind of like being a, a brand new business rep, right? Curiosity posts. This is one that we'll dive more into in our uh, full groups, but curiosity posts are where you just go post something very simple on your Facebook page. In fact, I did one yesterday to book my messenger party that I did last night and today. And I just did a simple this or that vote. And I showed a couple pieces of jewelry. I had people vote which one that should they get. I told them I was doing a quick online event and the people who voted on the, the post because people like to give their opinion. It was fun. It was simple and interactive. I just reached out and I used automation, which we'll cover at the end of this training. I used an automation tool that actually responded to that Facebook post for me and went into the messenger for each person who commented and just said, Hey, I saw you commented on my bracelet post. Um, I'm doing a fun, quick messenger party. I'm going to be giving some of the fun, beautiful pieces away. Can I send you the invite? And if they said yes, then I sent them the invite. Okay. Curiosity posts can also be something like for my health and wellness business. We actually lead a lot with intermittent fasting. And so sometimes we kind of just start with just some conversation starters. And I just put out there like who in my friends list is interested in, in intermittent fasting or is doing IF. And it kind of gets the conversation going. And then I wrap back through and maybe I give a freebie. We teach these things in our membership club and our full program. Maybe we do a lead magnet because we do partner these things into our parties. Um, and we say, hey, if I put together a free clean eating guide, who would want it? Or hey, if I put together an intermittent fasting guide, who wants to get their hands on it? And when people comment, we say, hey, saw you commented on my post. Um, I would love to get that guide to you. By the way, we're also doing a fun live event next Tuesday to share more about intermittent fasting and, and some of our favorite support products. We will also be giving some of them away. Can I send you an invite? So this is a great way to pick up some of your social audience, be it big or small. Find some of your friends on your friends list that might have some interest and you didn't know they did. Okay. And go ahead and invite them and do a reach out only after they took action on something. Does that make sense? Now we'll dig into that deeper. If y'all need the full course or the community, we'll dig into that um, further with you to personalize that process. I have a slew of example curiosity posts um, and I have a boards app for you guys that has examples with the scripts, with the copy, with the verbiage. Last, you guys, a fun way to just book an event or a party is if you do have customers, you can do a VIP event, okay? Maybe you do a birthday party. My birthday's in July and last year I threw myself a birthday party. And I'm like, hey, customers, I want you to be my party guests. 
and I'm going to be sharing some of your favorite things. I'm going to be doing some bonus giveaways. And I had a bunch of balloons and I popped some balloons. There were different ways they could enter to win and it made it super fun. So inside of the full party, um, I have nine of my favorite ways. That's three of my top favorite ways to get bookings. Once you get some people to show up like tonight, I'm going to ask people, hey, did you learn something new? Did you have fun? And I'm going to ask them to come back to the next time we do this, but bring some friends, kind of like what we did at a home party. And I'll show you the games at the end. Okay. Um, here's Mallory Jones on this challenge. She said, thanks so much for your help and guidance. She said she was having her second best month in her Zaya business and your key advice and tips got her to this place. She says, thank you. You are welcome. All right. So if you got a yes, if you're your own yes, like I'm going to book my own party, or maybe you reached out to some of your customers, or maybe you reached out to some of your warm market and said, hey, I'm trying something new. I'm going to put together a Facebook event around whatever value you bring with your products, right? It's going to be a style event. It's going to be a clean makeup event. It's going to be a healthy living happy hour. It's going to be a clean beauty event. Whatever the type of theme you're doing, type in the comments below, what are some party or event themes you've done? Maybe you're a coach like me and you're doing a virtual party training or you're doing an email marketing masterclass like we did last month in Action Takers. Maybe you're doing something with Canva or branding. You can ask people, hey, I think you'd find value in this. Would you like to invite some people? And now they're a hostess, okay? If you get someone to invite people for you or if you are the one who invited people, you have to coach the person. So what do they do? Great. I'll invite some people. Great. Yeah, I'll tell my friends. How? Here's how we get people to the party, okay? We're going to talk about, yay, you got a booking. Book yourself. Get someone else to schedule a date with you. Why hostess coach and how to do it. First, I want you guys to know that hostess coaching is basically you setting yourself up if you're coaching yourself because you're inviting people to your own event or you setting the person inviting friends over, you're setting them up for the best event ever. And if you're with a network marketing company where they're going to get rewards for bringing people and sales happening, then you want them to have the best event. If you're doing it for yourself, just go through these steps. Step one, confirm the date. Is the date on your calendar? If it's a hostess, does she know for sure that the date is coming up? Let her know what to expect. Now, I do my parties every other Tuesday. For a year and a half, my um, past business partner and one of our coaches over in the virtual party community, Jessica, we did parties every Tuesday night for a year and a half together in a shared group, okay? When we have a friend who comes to the party and says, that was fun, I liked some of that, I want some of that, and we say, hey, how about you bring some people to our party next Tuesday? We'll help you get a discount or we'll give you some rewards, okay? We got to tell them how this is going to go down. I typically don't like book two months out. I don't need to. This is just a quick, fun, live Facebook event, typically 15 to 30 minutes for a network marketing gig. If it's coaching, yes, it's 30 to minutes to an hour, right? Um, because it's more of a training. Um, but I let the hostess know what to expect. I let her know I'll be touching base with you the Friday before. I'll be helping you get friends invited. I'll give you an invite to send out. I'll also give you something you can post on your social media wall, i.e. a curiosity post, okay? Get her excited. Help her start thinking of who she can invite. So what are some key benefits of your products or your service? Type to me in the comments below. What does your product do? not what is your product. I don't need the company name. I don't need that you sell skincare. I need to know the benefit that I'll get if I buy your products, if I enroll in your service, if you become my business coach. What can I expect? Okay. So get your hostess excited about what can she expect. What I love to do is tell my hostess, hey, if you get five friends over to the live video we're doing next Tuesday night, you'll get this goodie from me. If we have 150 in sales, you'll get this goodie from me. If you have 250 in sales, we'll get this. And a lot of this is built on what our company provides. If you're with a network marketing company, if you're a business coach, I just make it up. 
I tell people when you invite friends like you did tonight, I'll put you in a special drawing. And I have some swag, like some of my favorite cups, my corksicle mugs. I have some trainings. I have one-on-one -on -one time with me. So make up whatever your little list is of things that you're using to incentivize if you're asking someone to bring people. Help them think of who to invite based on what the benefits are. Who do you know that's on a health journey? Who do you know? Think about you're growing a business, right? Either you're a coach helping business people or you're a network marketer and you want to grow a team. Who do you know that maybe works full time and would just love a girl's night out? Who are happy, successful people that you know? Who are people that you know that value style? You know, some of my friends, they're like super always getting their nails done and hair and jewels. I'm just like throwing myself together. Give your hostess a message to send out. Don't expect her to know what to do the same way you would never expect a business partner to have a clue. And if you are a coach, I'm telling you now, put everything you're doing in writing as if you have a team that needs to duplicate this. Okay. If you're a network marketer and you're only a team of one, have a simple system that you know exactly what to do, that you know exactly how to help your host because she's kind of your business partner for the week. And then you can rinse and repeat the process. In my coaching business now, we have an ambassador team, right? We have social sellers. We have people that kind of copy what I do, but they need the system. So give her the message to send out. Let her know if you have any goodies that she can earn. And my last suggestion is set up a Facebook group messenger chat. If you're doing a Facebook party, you can actually do this leveraging a new event feature inside of Facebook for, for most accounts. And a group messenger chat is a way that you can mass communicate the reminders of what's happening. So I'll tell my hostess or I'll tell myself, hey, self, um, let's invite some people. And when they say, yeah, go ahead and send me the invite. The first thing I do is I just put them into a messenger chat. I open up Facebook. I make a group messenger chat and I put them in that. If you're not using Facebook, you could do this in a text. You could put them on an email like I did with you guys. And that's just a quick way that I can send out all the reminders, let them know exactly where to show up when it's time for the party, why they should show up, and then also a reminder about the specials. Okay, another testimonial. This is from Kayla. She said, doing this virtual party challenge completely overhauled her party process for the better. She said, I'm on board with whatever you're offering. And this is from Heidi. She said she enjoyed the talent challenge. She took so many notes this time compared to the one in January because sometimes we have to hear things over and over and over. And I'm going to solve that problem for you guys at the end. We now have the course in um, a DIY where you can just go through it over and over and over and over. It used to only be via live. So don't worry. Um, she said she don't know, doesn't know if the content was all different or if her mindset was in a better place. Same content. You might have just been in a better place. So now it's time to really set up how you're going to do this thing and start getting people excited. So I want you guys to think about where are you going to present at? And a lot of us are using Facebook, okay? So you can do this via a Facebook group, right? You could do it via a Facebook event. I'm going to talk about both of those real quick because I've gone back and forth between them over the years. You could do it via a text party. I do have a completely automated text party sequence. Um, you can show up on YouTube like I am now. You can do it via a Zoom party. Obviously, you could do it via in-person as well right? So if you're doing it in person, just think about how this all applies. Most of us are hitting up Facebook. Some people are even doing Instagram, like they're creating hashtags for their parties. There's not quite as many built-in features. I don't find that as conducive to this type of an event. So I love Facebook groups if you are building a community of people and it will be a place that you keep showing up, okay? If it's a one-time pop-up event, okay? I played with events forever, just straight up events, right inside of Facebook, not through a group. And those create clarity. They're simple. They have a date. They have a time. The downside is when they're over, they're over. So if you don't have a way to keep your leads through like automation, like we do at the front side and the back side, then you could lose people. So in the beginning, all I had was just my Facebook personal profile. And so I would friend request my guest, and that way I could stay connected over there. I didn't have texting. I didn't have email. I wasn't doing none of that. Facebook groups are great to build community. The downside is if it's just a one-time pop-up party and you're holding a, a whole open group, sometimes people don't want to join the group, right? I don't want to join another group. 
When it dies, it's kind of over. The posts move around, right? So I mostly like to do groups. If it's one group where I'm going to keep hosting my party in there, and that's part of one of my next level courses called the Evergreen Party, where you just have one group that you host your parties in all the time. The benefit to that is if Linda hosts for me, um, say I meet Linda tonight, like on an event like this, and I'm like, hey, Linda, I am going to be back next week, same time, same place. We're going to do this again. Can you think of some people that that you know that might benefit from what we shared tonight. And she's like, oh, I can think of some people. I'm like, great, invite them into this group you're already in. Less confusion, right? So if you're trying to figure out which one should I do, this is why after a one hour webinar, I, in, in fact, in like five minutes, a special is gonna pop up, even though I'm nowhere near done training. Um, I will be inviting you guys into our party community. If you're like, gosh, I need help. There's so many options. I need to personalize the process. That's why we'll do that with you guys, okay? Here's Renee Gibson. Um, she's actually in our Impact Makers program now, but in, in, in the beginning, she came right through this and said she loved the challenge. She said I was organized. That's the biggest compliment ever. It helped her find a system. She said, I love that you're a great example and you let us use your materials to see your Facebook Live. You guys are going to get all my materials. Hands-on is very important to learning. And she said, Kathy, it really seems like you have thought this out at every angle. Um, so thank you, Renee. Okay. So um, pre-party. So we've got a date. I'm just going to go with my simple system right now. I am going to do a party. This is true. This is like actual factual right now. Next Tuesday, I'm going to do a party around an upcoming holiday. And we're going to come up with a theme. We're going to host this one inside of a Facebook event. Okay. Actual, just plain old Facebook event. And we're going to start inviting people on Friday. So by Friday, I will have a Facebook event set up with some very basic things that you're going to learn right now. Between Friday and Tuesday, I'm just inviting people and starting to connect. On Tuesday night, I will go live with the party. This is my system. So what's happening between now and the live is I'm simply building engagement, getting people excited. I am not trying to sell, okay? I'm getting to know the audience that I'm inviting or that someone else has invited. I'm getting into real conversations and I'm focusing on getting them to show up next Tuesday because next Tuesday is actually the party, okay? Um, another quick testimonial, Heather, she's actually a doctor and she said she was working 18 out of the past 21 days. She almost made it through the challenge at this point. She said she's doing her homework soon, but wanted to share a huge success. She did her first party using the tips and tricks in this training. And she said, look at the engagement she had, 45 comments. She said she's been going back and forth between conversations, four different people right now, two new hostesses for parties the next time. Thank you, Kathy Callahan. Hashtag done is better than perfect. If y'all have never heard me say that, Julie taught me that done is way better than perfect. And if I was waiting for perfect, I still wouldn't, I wouldn't even be here. Okay. So what kind of posts can you do before you go live? The very first thing you want to set up your group or event, set up the texting sequence, set up the messenger chat and put in a very simple welcome post. The welcome post, and you guys will get a slew of examples in um, the boards app and the Trello board. The, the welcome post just very simply says, hey, welcome to the party. We're going to be live at Tuesday at 830. We're going to be sharing some of our favorite intermittent fasting tips and some of our favorite support products. And we're going to be doing some giveaways. So comment below and let us know who invited you here and just do a cute graphic. If you have a hostess, ask her to tag the guest in that post. If you are your hostess or if you are the coach, tag everyone in that event or in that group. And you can use an automation tool that will tag up to 50 people at a time on your behalf if you're doing it in a Facebook group, okay? What you want to do is just simply engage with the hostess or the guest right in the comments. You don't have to go setting up 80, 50,000 different posts. Keep the engagement going on that one post. A tip is anytime you want more engagement, have a giveaway entry on each post, okay? So a giveaway entry can just simply say giveaway entry. Comment below and let us know where you're tuned or, you know, where are you located? Do you already know these products? What is one thing you would love to change about the organization or lack thereof of your closet? What is one benefit you would love to see on your health journey? Ask a question. Focus on the welcome post. Do not post a ton. 
pre-live party if you don't want to lose people. When I post too much, I feel like they already think they went to the party and then they never show up on the live. So I keep it very, very simple. Um, Pre-party setup, we've got to set that group up. I do love a personalized cover photo. You know, you can theme it with some fun theme. If you do have a hostess, like I've done people's birthday parties for them, uh, Dorinda's birthday party, Barbara's birthday bash, that was a big one. Um, you can personalize it for your hostess using Canva or for probably a good year, I just used the same cover photo for every single party and it was just a company graphic. Have a catchy description and title. I do not encourage you to use the company name. Don't say, you know, whatever company name. Um, catchy title and description could be healthy living, happy hour, attend to win, right? Um, we just did gut health masterclass was last week, uh, mini masterclass, repair your gut, reset your gut, something like that. So but something that tells more the benefits. Put the welcome post in there or have a welcome video pin it to the top of the group or the event. If you're doing it inside of a messenger chat, it will just stay at the top. If you're doing a texting party, it will just be the first post, okay, that goes out. And just time to start inviting. Time for you to start inviting. Time for your host to start inviting. Now, I want to take a quick break. I'm going to do a giveaway and replay will be up. And um, I don't know currently if all the ch -ch -ch things happened the way they're supposed to. There currently could be a little button on your screen right now that says buy now. Is there a button on your screen? Would somebody verify? If that button has popped up, you are welcome to click the buy now button and just check out the full course because there is a special offer on there. But if you want to just wait, I'm going to cover that with you guys at the end. Okay. I'm going to cover it with you. I thought I'd be faster to the point that I'm there, but yeah, I should have known better. So um, this is where we're at. We've set up the event. Now, what else can you guys post leading up to the live? Keep it simple. Keep it engaging. I love to do a poll. You can simply do a poll if you're doing a Facebook event or a group and ask people, what is something you'd love to change about your skin? What is something you'd love to improve about your relationship? What is your biz biggest business struggle? What are you hoping most to learn through this challenge? And just give them options on a poll. Polls make it very, very easy for people to click the button and answer. So that can help with engagement. I also love to do things about my favorite things if I'm in my network marketing company. I'm not telling the name of the, the uh, products or the pricing yet. Just a solution. Every single day I drink this drink before I go to bed. Here's what it does for me. You can do a post about how do you know the host? How far did you travel? That's fun because we're in Australia right now, you guys. Australia, are you still on this video? Y'all, we can reach the world on social media. I couldn't do that in home, right? I would travel four hours for a party sometimes. I don't have to do that anymore. We can post some company intros or like my video at the front of this. If you're a business coach, don't try to sell pre-party. Try to engage, get people excited, create conversation. That is the key to engagement, okay? Then it's time to go live. So what happens on the day we're going to go live? So we've got this event set up. We've set up a fun theme. We've invited some people. And now we've got it set up and we're going to go do the live party. On the day of the live, what are you going to post? What are some tips? And what are the key portions of every single live event that I do? Okay. Um, testimonial from Nicole says she caught everything from the training and loved it. The content that has been provided is invaluable and she doesn't think there's anything she disliked. She said she took so many notes and it helped her get in the right headspace so she can move her team in a forward direction. Thank you so much for doing this training. You guys, if you're a network marketing leader, we've had a ton of people bring their teams into this training. This will be on replay. So you'll be able to invite them in if they missed it and they want to catch it. I also encourage encourage y'all to just invite them into the party community where you guys can learn under our coaches together and have the full course and be learning the same system with the same support. Okay. The day of the live. So remember my party is going to be next Tuesday. I'm just going to post a reminder in the group. I am going to use automation, automation tools, and I'll cover that at the end, automation tools to remind people. I can remind them via email. I can remind them via text. I can even have a scheduled message pop into a message to them privately and say, hey, so-and-so, I know that you are a guest of, of this event coming up. I just wanted to remind you we'll be live at 8.30 tonight. Can you join us? 
If you have a hostess, you can ask her to message this out. You can put a message right in the group messenger chat if you have that. And you just simply want to have ideally the video link ready before you go live. If you're using any of the third party tools that we teach, you can schedule your videos. In fact, you could rinse and repeat the exact same party over and over and over and stream it live if you wanted to. I don't like to do that much. I want to actually be live most of the time, but I have had to use that like on my birthday. I was, I don't know, I wanted the night off. So it was my Tuesday night party. I'm like, crud, I'm going to pre record this thing, right? When you guys go live, uh, a couple quick tips. Practice just going live by yourself. Go over to your Facebook personal profile, change the setting as if you're going to start a new post, and change the audience to only me. So type in the comments below, only me. When you go live, only you, nobody can see it. When you're practicing with the live button, it feels different than doing a recorded video. So practice, okay? Have good lighting. I didn't have it at first. I do now. Have a tripod or something that will hold your phone or do it on your laptop. Have a decent background. Did I have it in the beginning? No, I'm trying to give you tips to be better than I was in the beginning. Here's what most people forget. They go hit the live button and there's no title. There's no reason for people to click the button. And if they're going to watch the replay, they don't even know if they want to watch it because they don't know what the video is about. So have a catchy title or ask a question. So maybe the title is um, three tips for healthy for a healthier gut. Um, join us live giveaways and fun. And then maybe ask a question who struggles with IBS. I don't know. That's not very fun, is it? Ask a question. This will get people to click the video. Start engaging. I did it via a scrolling. Oh, gosh, I hope I made that scrolling thing go away. Good. OK. I did it via scrolling thing on the on the um, on the platform I'm using to go live right now. I just ask the question by letting it scroll across the bottom. So what do we talk about when we're live? Here is for my network marketing friends. I will I will tell you this is my structure. If you are a business coach, you can think of how to apply this, okay? Because I do the exact same system whether I'm selling my um, party course that I'm inviting you guys into, my um, Action Taker Membership Club, our full Impact Makers program, or if I'm selling health and wellness network marketing. I start the party with an introduction and just real quick tell people who I am. Tonight I did it via a video. I just thought that was fun instead of you listening to me. And then I had some pictures. You don't have to have the fancy slideshow. A lot of times in network marketing parties, we just are people on the screen, right? You can go through a uh, platform and make it fancy. You can just go live on your phone. I love drawings. I did not do on time drawing tonight. I said comment. Those of you who are staying throughout this and you're commenting, I'm going to be picking winners at the end. You got to be commenting. You got to stay to the end. That's how it works. Okay. Thank your guests. Thank your hostess and let them know what to expect. So you guys, this is going to be about an hour. I told you it's probably going to be an hour and a half is what I said in the beginning, trying to cut it short, but I think I'm already almost at an hour. Tell your story, who you are, who you were when you got started in your company, what you thought at first and what changed. If you're with network marketing, I tell them. I was a busy mom. I went to a home party with no expectation ever to start a business, but I was a school teacher who was really tired and giving the best parts of myself to 26 other kids and leaving nothing for my own. So when I was introduced to this company at first, I thought, yeah, that's really great for that girl. I could never do that. But I started thinking, what would it look like if I could? What would my life look like? And that's what got me to take a look. I'll share more about that at the end. My I story inside of coaching, I tell you guys what my journey was to get here and why I teach the way I do. If you're with a company that is someone else's company or if you're with your own um, business, what's the difference? Why should I choose you? What's so special about your products, right? With us, what makes us different? Because we pour into people, because we are legitimate people working businesses, teaching you how to work businesses, and we're right there on the journey with you, right? If you're with network marketing, I do not sell the catalog. Do not sell the catalog. An overwhelmed mind says no. Focus on your key products. Focus on solutions and benefits, not features. And then teach people at the end how to shop, how to join if it's a network marketing company, and how to earn if you have host rewards and they can earn by inviting friends. Okay? And I'll break a little bit down in the last slides here. Optional is you can play a booking game. 
as you close out, especially for my network marketing friends who have host rewards, we never leave a party without a party. Never leave a party without a party. Those of you who are coaches like me, I'm telling you, and you should hear this drip throughout. This is going to be on replay. You can invite your friends. If there's people here that you wish would have heard any of this, don't worry. I'll give you a way to share. I'll give you the next time I'm showing up and we can do this again. Okay. If you have winners, you close out and you announce the winners and you let people know how long the event will be open. N normally on a network marketing party, I leave it open for three days. So on Tuesday, we present. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, we're connecting to, to close sales. Friday, the deal ends. Okay. Tonight for this event, you guys have 24 hours. 24 hours, actually a little bit more for a special I'm going to be giving you guys. Okay. All right, so um, another testimonial you saw um, Samantha in the beginning here, but she said she got her first booking and this was actually before that video that she shared in the beginning. She used my offer them the thing they couldn't afford to buy technique and she just signed up a customer for the month and booked her for the 20th. One of my techniques to get bookings and I'll share that at the end is give people a discount, right? So after you do your live presentation, and if you guys are like, wait, 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 I need more. I don't need more. I know y'all, this is a one hour webinar. I know you need more. I know you need to see more. I'm going to show you how to get more at the end. After the live event is over, like literally at nine o'clock when I click off, okay, on Tuesday nights at nine, the party's over, half hour party, that's it. What do we do next? Who do we follow up with? How do we get sales? And how do we move through the conversations? This is the last part. What we do after the live is over, either you or your hostess, and you guys, those of you that are coaches, I do this in my classes when I do this via Facebook, okay? I'm doing this on YouTube today through an automated funnel, but when I do this on Facebook, I actually have a group messenger chat, even for my coaching classes. I put a message in the group messenger to say, hey, guess what? The live event's over. Here's the replay if you missed it. Here it is right here. Boom. Click. And here's the shopping specials, boom, right? So if they don't make it over to the event, if they don't make it over to the group, whatever the case, it's right there. You guys are gonna get an email from me tonight because this one's going via email and YouTube. So the email's gonna go over and say, boom, if you missed tonight's video, here it is. If you missed a special, boom, here it is. If you're in a group or an event, you can pin the video up to the top and edit the description because now it is on replay right? Post any specials and shopping links after the live event and start following up with guests. Literally on Tuesday nights, I probably work till 10 or 1030. It's my big night of working. And I follow up first with people who are on, like you guys who are on right now. If you're listening right now, say something to me. I don't care what it is. Tell me one thing you've learned so far. Everybody literally that's watching this training, one thing you've learned so far. So as guests are commenting, I'll ask them questions like that. You guys, I shared some of my favorite products. We talked about a 30-day health journey we can go on together. What is it that you have learned so far or what questions do you have? Get engagement. I follow up when the live is over first with people who responded, who engaged. And I say, hey, Sam, thanks for being on the party. I saw that you're looking to um, get some new whatever, you know, or that you're looking to change this. Did you see the special on whatever? Do you have questions about whatever. If they don't say anything, but you know, they were there because they just said hi at the beginning or something. I'll just ask them, Hey, Linda, thanks for being on the live tonight. What did you like best? What did you like best? That's not hard to ask. Yes. You can do this all on automation. You could literally automate this message. You could have it pre-scripted, pre-scheduled to everybody that's already, um, RSVP to the party. Did you know that? Okay. If people did not attend the live tonight, I don't know how many people are on because I keep toggling screens. 23 people. We had 40 earlier. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm losing people. Move, move, move. If we had a hundred almost registered for this, about 50% of people who register tend to show up on a party. Okay. On a network marketing event, I'm looking for five on the live. That's my goal. On a coaching, we've had up to over 100, okay? But we might have 150 register, 25 show up. That would be like, oh, what did I do wrong? But if you're having like 60, 75 show up of 150 or five out of 10 show up, you're like kind of normal, right? Well, what about the other half of the people who didn't show up? I just reach out. Hey, so-and-so, I saw you were registered for this event. I saw that you were a guest at so-and-so's party, missed you on the live, or have you gotten to catch the replay, just ask a question and connect. 
If they say, no, my kid threw up, my dog died, my, my hair fell out. I don't know. My shower overflowed last night. Legitimately. That happened right at time to go live on my call. I just say, no big deal. No big deal. Let me help you out. We talked about healthy skincare and we talked about clean nutrition. Which one interests you the most? Or we share jewelry deals and we have some gold packages and some silver packages. Are you a gold or silver type girl? Are you team gold, team silver? Or do you like jewelry, right? Sometimes I'll just be like, do you even like that? Because I don't know. Maybe they didn't respond in any of the pre-party messaging. So I just start connecting. If they're like, yeah, I do. I just didn't have time to catch it. I don't be like, here's the replay. I'm like, great, let me help you out. I talked about that like halfway through. I'm going to tag you in the video, but if you could change anything about your health or if you could have improved skin or if you could have a, a more profitable business, what would that mean to you? What do you, what do you want? Like not why should you buy my product? Cause ultimately that's, that's what we're looking for is like, we can solve that problem. But what is it that you guys really want? So right now, for those of you listening, what do you want? Literally, what do you want from your business that's missing? Not, I need a new tool and a new hack and teach me automation, all that. What do you want? I want a $5,000 a month paycheck so that I can have time freedom with my kids, so that I don't have to have a boss, so that I can choose my schedule. I want the opportunity to teach and train others. I want to build a community. I want to make a positive difference. I want to be able to tie my passion to my products and not just do a job to live paycheck to paycheck. What do people want? And that's the conversations we get in at the end, okay? Um, oops, I went the wrong way. Okay, so as you guys, as we're closing out, if you're like, how do I close more sales? And how do I actually continue to move through this messenger flow? Number one tip is selling sets and packages. If you can package your products, which I'm doing with you guys tonight on the special I'm offering, I do it network marketing. I simplify the buying process by putting bundles together. If you sell cookware, Put me together the fancy cooking pan with the spoon and the whatever and tell me the whole story about how now my dinner is easier. Everything I need is going to wash really easily. The stuff's going to scoop right out and it's all going to spin it together and make the magic happen, right? If you sell skincare, package me a couple of like busy mom packages and the everyday mom and the mom on the go. I mean, I talk to moms a lot. In my coaching business, we have a package. We don't just sell all these little things that don't really provide solutions. Sets and packages are the transformation. Give people options, but not too many. Two or three packages is great. Ask questions like we talked about a minute ago to really find out what people need and use that information that you did post in the poll and lead with that. If you have a poll like I do over in Action Takers right now, asking you guys what you want, I'll be like, hey, I saw that you're wanting help with customer loyalty. I saw that you're wanting help with text automation. Can I give you more information about this class I'm doing? I saw that you're looking for um, help with de-stressing. I saw that you're looking for help with cleaning your home without harmful chemicals. Can I send you more information about our cloth that cleans without any cleaners, right? Um, use that information to guide the conversation. Use third-party tools. Don't be the expert. I get in my coaching business, I'm the expert because I own the company. In my network marketing business, I'm not. I'm supposed to leverage tools. If I become the expert that has the skincare degree and the doctorate degree and all the things, nobody thinks they can do this. So if somebody says, hey, I'm looking at the um, Rush drink. What does it do? I don't go posting like all the things. I'm like, oh, check out this testimonial that my friend had to say. Or I send a screenshot of some tool, some screen share graphic, a testimonial, a little description in your team group, a video link that has kind of an overview of it. And I just, I'm like, oh, here, check this out. Because it saves me time and it shows them, oh, all she did was like, answer my question through sharing information that I could basically do that, right? Don't be the expert in network marketing. It's the hardest part. We think we got to know it all and then we never grow a team unless you don't want to grow a team. Have a sales funnel to move people through the flow and use a simple marketing system to track leads and the process. Do you guys have a sales funnel? Do you know what the sales funnel looked like tonight? I put out a post on social media. Those of you who are interested, and I emailed to my list, those of you who are interested, we gave you a link. The link allowed you to register. We do this with our party guests. Give them a form to register. Then with that form, we go ahead and provide the information via Facebook Messenger, via email or text, and give them where to show up. 
when they show up like you guys did tonight, then we follow up with a message or an email. That's our flow, okay? We offer the sale. Use a simple marketing system. I'll talk about that here as I wrap out. And if you guys do go, okay, well, I didn't sell anything. I didn't book any parties. I love to think outside of the box and I love games, okay? Even right now, I'm gonna play a game with you guys as we, as we close. So if you're in network marketing, I love games to get bookings. I love games to get recruits and virtual parties are my number one recruiting strategy. One out of every four of my hostesses became a business partner, okay? I love parties because they're simple, fun, and effective to sell, but I love them also because I can say, if you had fun, and if you want to do this again, or if you want a discount, or if you love free, bring some friends back next week. I'll credit you for that. I'll give you something to say thank you for helping me build my network because it's a heck of a whole lot easier for me to say, who do you know, than me to go find 10 new people that I don't know yet. I'm just telling you, it is. Um, it's a great way to also increase sales. So we have some games inside of our course. Pick a present, win a prize is one of my favorites. It's a very simple graphic and a game you can post right inside your group or event. You can drop it in the messenger. You can text it out. There's a whole slew of Canva graphics that Vicki Johnstone created for this course, and you'll get all those. And there's themes for each month with these different um, games. And people just pick a number. And behind the number could be a discount. Behind the number could be a party with some of their friends, right? I'm gonna throw you a healthy living happy hour, you and five friends online. It's all on me, we're gonna have fun. I'll even send you a sampler package, right? A little swag bag, just say thank you. Um, behind that could be uh, free shipping, could be a $10 credit off their next order. I love offering people discounts if they want to, to bring some friends to the next event. I'll say, hey, you know, Natasha, if you bring five friends to the next time I show up, I'll give you a discount on this on this class. Or if you share this class or, or, or on these products, if you share this class with some of your team and three of your team members get come in, I'll give you all of this, this group special, right? Same kind of concept. Um, questions game is one that we have inside of the course where it's just very simple at the end. We just ask them, ask me any question. You can do this on the live event. So right now I'm going to play a game with you guys. I want us, I'll give you guys a three minute timer as I close and I'm going to put the three minute timer. I'm going to put a three minute timer out and I literally want you guys to just start asking me questions. I want you to ask me questions about um, what my course is. I want you to ask me questions about how we help people. I want me to, I want you to ask me questions about um, questions you have about this training and the timer's going right now. So start dropping your questions on this training in the comments. And at the end, I'm going to pick a random question for a prize from our swag shop or for a free training from me. Okay. Network marketing, I do this at the end of a party. Set the timer, play a game, ask me any question. Ask me a question about what it's like to be a rep with this company. Ask me a question about our host rewards. Ask me a question about how any of these products that I shared tonight work. And at the end, I'll pick a winner, okay? Deal or no deal is a game that we won't go into all of this for sake of time, but deal or no deal is one I used to play at home parties all the time. And I simply will hold up like two different boxes. Now this is ginormous. <laughs> um, and I'll hold up two different boxes um, or 10 different boxes, however many. And I'll just tell them everybody's going to get a box if it's in person. If it's online, I just hold, hold two boxes. And I tell them, um, I'm going to offer you a deal and you don't have to take it. But if you take the deal, you're going to be a hostess for me next week, or you're going to invite some friends to my next um, event. And what's going to happen is for doing that, I'm going to give you what's inside of box number one or box number two, and you will get to choose. Okay. So, all right, you guys, if you want to invite some friends and you want a freebie, and so then they just type deal or no deal. And the people who said deal, then I let them pick a box and I give them a prize. It could be a little cute sampler pack. It could be a full size product. Doesn't matter. Last is the sparkle game, and that's where I always tell them um, at the end of a party that if they had fun and they, they love to earn free things and they want to invite some friends, that we're going to play the sparkle game. And the first two people or the first five people that type my magic word will get this bonus thing from me. And I actually have a sparkle game for you guys tonight. So the first five people on this training 
the first five who click the buy now button, and if it's not on the screen, it'll go to your email. Um, the first five people, you don't even have to type the word sparkle, are actually going to get some bonuses. You're going to be able to choose from either a one-on-one -on -one call with me, or you're going to be able to get our Canva branding marketing class and a marketing session, branding session with um, Vicki. And she'll help you design your graphics if you need logos, if you need cover photos, and you want them personalized. So the first five people who choose to enroll in our party class and community, that is going to be my sparkle game for y'all. Okay. So as you're dropping your questions below, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and share with you that yes, you can automate. You can automate comments that people, um, when people comment on a post, you can automate comments back to people. You can automate the messenger replies to people. Did you know that? You can automate the initial message to reach out and respond to people. All right, hang on. We're going to do our winner in just a second here. And you can automate um, party registration and reminders. You can even automate the whole party. Literally, after this live training is over, I'm going to put this whole thing on automation. So it's going to just rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. And people who couldn't join live, maybe they're not going to get the exact same special y'all are getting. So there'll be a different one every time on the sales page. But the video is done. Okay. You can then also automate the follow up emails, texts, and Facebook messages. Would this help you? I'm going to show you how to get that on the last slide. Let's pick a winner from our questions game. I have to scroll up. Okay. Hunter said, oh, she said, that wasn't a question, but she said, did not know there were so many automation tools. Girl, there are so many automation tools. Okay. And I'm going to pick a question for our winner. Siobhan says, do you think 8.30 PST is too late for parties? First of all, you're a winner. Okay. So Siobhan, what I want you to do is text P-C-A-T-U, and I'm, I'm typing this in the comments for you now. I want you to text PCATU, that stands for my Purpose Creator Action Taker University, to this number I'm posting in the comments. And what this is going to do is you are going to be able to um, get a prize from me for playing along. So Siobhan, when you text that over to my phone number, that's my cell phone, my work cell phone, you are actually going to get a prize list. There's swag in there, gift cards in there, trainings in there. So congratulations. The answer to your question is no. I party always at 830. The time to party is the time that you can party. Uh, when do you have the most energy? When are you the most focused? I need to wait till my kids are in bed. Okay. I need to wait till I'm not distracted. I need to wait till I'm not stressed out. Does it mean that I work a little later on Tuesday night? Yeah, it does. But I've I've just like, I got that schedule. Some people do lunchtime parties. Some people do Saturday night. Pick the time that you can show up consistently in your business, okay? So I did nap time lives forever in the midst of all the pandemic. So um, just understand that the most important part is when can you consistently show up? Launch it, master it, do it enough to test it out, okay? All right, last slide, you guys, and then we'll pick a uh, random winner from comments. Here is what I am offering to anybody who's new and doesn't have our party course yet. We have put together the complete course into um, an online platform. And you guys will get this full party course. It is a DIY course. You can literally go through it on your own. Um, there is coaching included with it. So we'll talk about that part in a sec second. But it also includes a marketing class. And I feel like this is one of the bigger values if you've had my old party course or gone just through the challenge. Um, the bonus course and the fundamentals of business, I, I really feel like this has helped people a lot more than just like a party hack tactic tool, whatever. So I included that in the party course and it ties into how we're doing this through parties. Okay. We go through a little bit of what we did, to, or a lot more of what we did tonight um, in, in depth. So each pillar of the parties is broken down into trainings, okay? You'll get my verbiage booking, my three-by-three three LAC method. You're also going to be getting some huge tools that are going to help you guys out, and I'll show you those next. And I hope it's showing the right screen. I would be embarrassed if it's not. Hang tight. Bummer. It's showing the wrong screen. Okay, that is so sad. Um, let me show the right screen. 
stop the screen share, share the right screen, share the right screen, and boom, I'm just going to share my whole screen so I don't screw that up again. Um, so inside of the party course, if you have not gotten the new one yet, there it is. Okay, the five pillars to every party. And we also go through different types of parties, texting parties, messenger parties, bonus trainings, and how to level up. With this, you also get, let's do the Trello board first. Um, you also get the Trello board. And people love Trello. The way the Trello board is built out is it actually is set up more like what to do as the party's coming up, okay? So here's all the groups set up with catchy title. As you open these up, there's different um, suggestions on, on what to do there. Descriptions, a suggestion of what to put in the description. Um, there's a whole slew of Canva graphic templates. So you'll see some of my past examples, but then there's also the editable Canva Canva links. You also get things like my hostess planner. That's just ideas for you to help your hostess have a great party, a graphic you can share, how to walk her through how to have a great party, um, how you can help her with inviting, gives you all the different things that they need to be posting or doing, and all the links to the Canva graphics. So those are Canva graphic links. And people love this Trello board because it's kind of like you can just copy it and personalize it and it breaks down what to do as the party is getting closer. Some pre-party posts, what to do the, the day of the live party. And you'll see also all the examples of the actual um, post, the actual scripts, okay? So that's been very beneficial as well. And then it continues to go on to after the live, the day after the party, what do you do in between that? What do you say to your host? What should you be saying to the guests, right? What are the actual scripts that you should be sending? And then how to close the party out. What happens if there's no sales? What happens if there's a lot of sales? I've increased sales from two orders to seven orders with just one message before the party closes out. That's one tool. You guys also get the boards app. Um, this is a newer tool. A lot of people really like this. The boards app is actually a board that you can integrate into your keyboard on your phone. OK, so if you integrate this, let's say, for example, um, you're doing this just as a resource board, you would just be reading through it. You're just like looking through, you know, what is my three by three? Or here I have my complete messenger scripts linked as a Google Doc and it's all there. And here's all our messenger scripts with scripts and actual screenshotted real life messages of times I've used this whole process. OK, through all different types scenarios. If you use it as an actual integrated keyboard in your phone, let's say you're in pillar two where your hostess coaching and you want to just import the message, it literally is an installed keyboard on your phone if you use it that way. And you just click on this, you tap on that, and it puts it right into wherever you're typing, your texting, your messenger, your email. So this is set up where you can actually just pop in little, you know, verbiage, right? You can even use this to pop in. You could just click on this and tell it, hey, send that over to my hostess if you use it as an integrated keyboard. And this is a great free tool. And so this one builds out all the pillars. This is where I keep all the updated um, content. This is where all my resources, my trackers, everything that you guys are going to need. It's incredible. Even my full PDF or even my full um, Excel sheet where I've tracked everything is included in here. OK, it also includes our um, private Facebook group. And you guys, this is where the real value is. The live coaching, you're going to get coached through two top network marketers who've gone through our trainings and are now coaches. You get a once a week Facebook uh, or a once a week Zoom with them for eight weeks. You get to have a coach taking you through. You can go through the course at your own, bring your questions there. This has been one of the biggest values for people is the actual live engagement, the live interaction. So if you guys want that, if that's beneficial to you and you're like, yes, please, um, then click on the buy now button. If it's not there, I'm going to go ahead and post this in the comments right now and go on over to this and Twitter. I don't know about Twitter. Yeah, you can schedule all kinds of stuff. Um, if you guys want to know about the automation tool that we are going to be, let me get to the right page. Where's my page? If you guys want to know about the actual automation tool, y'all are going to die. It is a system that I am creating with, I shouldn't say I'm creating, I'm partnering with a creator of the system to put everything that I do inside of a complete 
CRM, okay? It's gonna have email, texting, Facebook messaging, automation for the messenger, a posting platform. It's even gonna be built out with a party funnel in there. So I could put my party posts, you can put your party posts and share them direct with your team. This is gonna replace a lot of tools, okay? We're teaching this inside of our full program. We're going to be debuting this whole system. If you know of different tools I've shared in the past, or if you're on the search for tools, there's a ton of incredible tools. But I've been on the search for the one that does it all. And if you guys need resources in the Boards app, it tells you my, my Facebook automation tool, my text automation tool, my email, all of that's included. Okay, you guys get all of that. But this new CRM that's coming is going to literally be the one one stop shop for everything and i'm so 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 excited about that once we actually have that completely integrated as part of our system we will not sell this stuff at the same price okay so if you guys want this you can come you've got one out one day two hours left for the special offer which i'll open up next um what you guys need to do simply click the buy now button there are two special discount codes that are available for the next one day two hours okay um, so you can click on the special discount code and take advantage of that. Um, also, the first five people who get the course, I mentioned already, kind of like my Sparkle game, the first five people to hit the buy now button to type Sparkle, um, you will get the Canva course also and a personalized branding session, which is a $297 value, or you can choose a one-on-one -on -one session with me. When you click the virtual parties made simple, it's going to open up the um, sales page. It will, it's $4.97 at the time of this video. It is a $19.97 value for the course, all the tools, and the eight weeks of coaching. Okay. You'll also get that full Facebook private community where you can engage for people with people doing the same system and engage with your coaches. Okay. There's two codes. There's one code that's a discount if you have nothing. Okay. There's a discount code if you have no tools from us at all, and it will give you 25% off for the next one day and two hours. There's another code that if you already have the course, but you want to add on the coaching because some people have already bought the course before we had the coaching. Okay. So if you just want to add on the coaching and you already have the course, then you can click the, um, it, it will tell you the button. So there's also bonus ways to party. It's not just about partying online through the boards app and the private community. We keep you guys updated on the most current strategies that work in online parties. That means you will have access to whatever we're doing right now. Like I party every other week or every week. I'm not like someone who did this 10 years ago, right? We tell you today what's working. So go ahead and join the community. We would love to see you on the inside. As we close out, I'm going to pick, let's do two winners. Um, if you want more and you're like, I don't need just a party. I need like to really like grow my team and I need to really scale and I need to know how to integrate all of the um, attraction marketing and funnels and email market. You want to know it all? book a strategy session with me. Okay. I'll share with you our other programs. If you're a fit for them, I'll tell you more about them. If not, I'll help you with where to be. Okay. Make sure that you stay connected somewhere. If you're not in any of our groups yet, we do have our free business group, which continues to keep you updated on everything. You're also on my email list now. Okay. Let's head over to our screen share and let's pick, I'm going to pick two random winners. All you had to do was comment. So I'm closing my eyes because I'm scrolling around. I'm scrolling around. If your name pops up on the screen, Shay. Woo! Shay's a coach. Girl, let's talk. Okay. Shay, same for you. Go ahead and text over to my phone number, 618-417-7228. And, um, and type PCAT U and it will, um, I'll send you over the prize list. Okay. One more winner. And then our time together is done. Did I keep it less than an hour and a half? Oh my gosh, I'm six minutes early. I'll stay for questions if y'all want since I'm six minutes early. Carla. All right, Carla, you are our last winner for tonight. You guys, those of you who did invite friends in who, you know, told people you shared the love. If anybody did tell people and you're like, hey, I told some people and my people are here and you can verify that you told the people and because you told the people they're here, would you go ahead and text me, not peek at you, text me who you invited. Text me who you invited that you, that you see that they're here. If you were invited by someone, will you comment who invited you guys? Because I would like to do something for the people who, who shared the love. Okay. This will be on replay. We'll do it live again. If y'all love it and you want it again. And if you want, go ahead and, and check out if y'all need to go. Thank you for staying to the end. If you want a prize, 
you have to be here. You better be texting me right now. Uh, by the way, if you're not in the U.S. or Canada, oops. If you're not in the U.S. or Canada, just message me. I'm dropping my messenger right now. If you're not in U.S. or Canada, message me because texting does not work um, outside of U.S. and Canada. Okay. There's my Facebook messenger if you guys have any questions. And um, if you have any questions, go ahead and drop them before I hang up. And then I get to like go hang out in the quiet night. All right. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you, Hunter. You guys don't wait if you're ready to get rolling, take advantage of that deal before it's gone. And that community is new, so it will be going up, up, up. But we always start small and we we give people who come in early. We've done that course and community only one time so far, only one time. And it's already increased. I think it was 297 to start, right? So it's already increased $200. So don't wait. That's why I'm giving you guys some discounts right now. Don't wait, don't wait. People that are in my Impact Makers program, you're glad that you got in when we were building right? So this new community is pretty amazing. Twitter, I don't have experience on. I wish I could say I did, but literally foundational principles, connect with people, ask questions, find the need, provide value, present the offer, and then ask for the deal, right? Ask them, like, are you ready to go? And that's what I'll be asking y'all. You're ready to go. Let's go. Uh, closing, most of us simply just don't even ask. Most of us simply don't follow up. We assume if people are interested, they would take action. Let's assume the opposite. They're interested, they're busy, and they forgot. They need us, what we have is a gift, and we're going to check in. Just checking in. Friday follow-ups, just checking in, right? All right, good. Okay, I hope it was helpful. It was hard to do that in an hour. It was hard to do that in an hour and a half, um, but I think I kind of ish did it, all right? All right, you guys, I'll see you later. Okay, that's it. Bye.